Welcome. In this video, we will highlight the job summary report, which facilitates Veritas Net Backup jobs and event management. I'm going to spend my time with a great out of the box template called job summary. And it's what I called a bread and butter report when I was a user of the tool as a customer. And the reason for that is you could get so much out of this single template. Um, like most backup reports, we have an ability to specify the time frame in which we are interested. So you will see a large number of presets for us, last X hours, last X days, even uh, an ability to do uh, last year, last year, you know, number of years. And the other one that is typically going to be interesting if you're doing things like um, monthly operations reviews, et cetera, is you may want to go ahead and use it. Uh, some of the previous, like previous month, which would literally give us a summation of all, in this case, all jobs from the previous month. Sure. You do also within timeframes have the ability to go in, for example, for an audit and say, I, I want to go in and be very specific, potentially both date and time to specify a start and end date. For this purpose, I'm just going to do the last 24 hours and we're going to talk quickly about First of all, a couple of the key flags to be aware of. If you're looking for failed events or warning events, we saw how to grab those quickly within the inventory. But if you wanted to go through and see that same sort of summation from the job summary report, you can simply choose that uh, job status of failed events. If I generate this point, we'll see failed jobs within the last 24 hours. There aren't any, so let's go 10. And as we'd expect, we're only seeing jobs that have failed in here. Same would be true for editing scope. Even though I've rendered the report, if I want to make changes to what I've asked for, simply click the edit scope button, go back in, and say, for example, I want to transition to all events. And at the same time, perhaps I was interested in doing something like, um, looking for a particular policy name and an asterisk then would be a wild card and regenerate, see if we have any. So lots of, particularly with net backup output, as we look across here, you're seeing a tremendous depth of information around every job. And then we have the, the kind of the bread and butter, you know, job size and duration, how, what was the exit code? How many files did we protect? What were the primary and media servers? And then as we scroll to the right, we also expose information. If we're doing deduplication, which is occurring in these jobs, we can see the information job by job, whether it was client or server size, uh, deduplication, what was our dedupe ratio, what was our CR sent, if accelerator was involved, and even further to the right, if we're doing HDR, TIR deduplication, we'd see that information. 